Good morning, YouTube land. It's Darth Ram here for you. And I'm doing a different vlog today, one that I haven't done before. And this one here is a response video. And the response is to, I guess it originated with a vlogger, which quite a few people have heard of, Goatfather. And his topic was for Moto Talks, I do believe it was 23. And the subject matter was subscribers. Now the reason I know about, like, I, it sounds bad, but unfortunately I, am not, I do not subscribe to Goatfather because, well, I had never really heard of him until just the last couple days where this topic has been popping up on on my feed from people that I subscribe to and they're responding to his topic so I felt after listening to everybody else I should at least hear it from the goat himself and I listened to his video which prompted me to make this now the reason I'm making it and the reason this subject actually means, it actually hits a nerve with me because it's supposed to be about subscribers and what do they mean to you? As in the channel holder or a creator or host, whatever you want to call us. And so many people that I have seen because they're popping up on my feed, they're the ones that are responding to GoFather. And they're the ones that are saying that no, subscribers don't mean anything like the number itself doesn't mean anything to them that they don't care really if people subscribe to them or not they say well it's kind of nice but it's not it's not necessary and for myself i call bullshit i call 100 percent bullshit on that and the reason for that is because if subscribers didn't mean much to you, why are you doing this? Why are you taking the time to record yourself? Actually, even before that, what made you decide to buy a camera, number one, strap it to your helmet, then, get a microphone, whatever microphone it might be, like some people go go on the down cheap and just get a microphone off of, uh, Amazon for like five bucks, 10 bucks or whatever, or people are like myself who spend a, a decent amount of money and buy the Cena backpack. So either way, you've now bought a camera for a couple hundred dollars, you've bought a microphone depending on the kind. You've now bought editing software and you're going through your own time to edit videos to put up onto YouTube. Why? If you didn't care about anybody watching or anybody subscribing to you, you wouldn't do that. You would make your little videos and keep them on your computer. At best at very very best that would be the that would be the extent of what you're doing but it's not you're, you're you're publishing them on YouTube and why are you publishing them on YouTube because you want people to watch you want people to connect to you that's what it is it's this little thing whether it be nature or whatever you want to call it but it's for myself well, let me put it that way for myself it's the, the want of being accepted. It's the want of being acknowledged. And it's the want of being included in something bigger than just you. That's why people join clubs, whether it's a quilting club or a basketball team or a gym. You're doing it because you want to be included with other people. You see something that they are doing and you want to be included in that. You want to be, hey, that's why you started watching because it interests you. You're like, hey, that looks neat. That looks like fun. 
maybe I could do that. At least that's how I started. I was watching a lot of different vloggers and I'm thinking, you know, that does look like a whole lot of fun. Oh, come on. And also up here in Canada, we have to deal with the snow for five bloody months of the year. So my riding time is very short. So that's really what got me watching is because I get to watch other people still ride their motorbikes in beautiful weather while I'm still buried under three feet of bloody snow. But as time went on, I'm watching their videos going, you know what, that does seem like so much fun. Like instead of just sitting on my bike, riding around, which is still enjoyable, but now I can actually try to connect to other people. And it's not just other people in my city because I'm a member of uh, a riding group here, but I can connect now to people worldwide. For myself, I'm also a gamer. I play on PlayStation and I've got, I guess you want it, like friends worldwide. I've got them in Iceland, I've got them in England, Germany, Australia, Brazil, like you name it, I've got them in different places. These people I will never ever meet. So, so getting back to the people that say no, subscriber count doesn't matter to them, it's a lie. If it truly, if that number truly means nothing to you, turn off your camera. Turn it off. Close down your channel because you're saying that it does not matter how many people watch you because you don't care. You just don't care. I'm not saying that you have to go and buy everybody flowers when they subscribe to you, but I know for myself, I appreciate every single time I get that notification that so-and-so has subscribed to my channel. I enjoy that. I enjoy when I get that notification saying so-and-so has commented on your video. I like that. I want that interaction. There's another motive vlogger out there that I didn't start watching until just recently. And he goes by the name of Nietzsche riding i think that's how you pronounce it niche or niche it's n-i-c-h-e uh this guy is is really cool when you watch his videos he is just there to help everybody like it, it's amazing i'm i'm so surprised his subscriber base isn't bigger than what it is and it really really should be like i i, I was just blown away because he is truly trying to help everybody's starting out and even the people that have already made it he's still trying to help them by making stuff better pointing things out saying hey maybe try this like he's the type of person he's the type of vlogger that i would like to model myself after just because of that reason then now again there's some other little things where we don't see eye to eye on which i mentioned on one of his videos but it, that's just that's just one little thing but the fact is he does things so well and it's a shame that his count isn't higher. So what makes things higher? I don't know. I wish I knew, because then my count would be higher. <laughs> and then I would be able to help you get your count higher. But it's not. So getting back to the original topic, do subscriber counts mean something to me? Yes, they do. I look at a lot of big name uh, vloggers and I see their, their counts and I am blown away absolutely blown away by how high their numbers are and then i see some that i guess you can consider kind of mid-range ones kind of i don't, I don't want to say like like niche riding because he, he is just he <laughs> he's an enigma all his own like he truly is his stuff is awesome like it really is awesome and i'm i'm, I'm gathering that he's just started this just recently so give him time that that guy's gonna blow up mark my words on that one he's gonna blow up and then I see other people with a really high subscriber count and, I, and I've seen their videos and I'm like how how did you get this high because your, your content isn't really that good I, I just don't get it I just don't get it anyways guys that's that's kind of what I wanted to get off my chest today I, I wanted to say that that the subscriber counts 
do mean something to me. They always have, they always will. That was why I wanted to do this. I wanted to get out there and I wanted to connect to people. Now, however we do that, that's up to you. However you run your channel, that's up to you. Nobody else, just you. But I'm telling you, that's how I run mine. I want those numbers to grow because I believe that we should all connect with each other. Somehow, some way, we should connect. I was never a big person for online anything until I started playing games online. I was slow to get into that because I didn't care. I didn't want to. I always mocked my brother for that. Like, oh, you're, you're playing with all these people and you call them friends, but you never ever meet them. They're not really your friends. Well, here we are years later, I'm doing that exact same thing. And I do consider these people that I game with my friends because we have built connections over a couple of years. They're more friends than some of the people that I actually hang out with in real life. And I feel the same way about subscribers. You, can, you took the time to want to watch my videos. I appreciate that. You took the time to subscribe to my, to my channel. I appreciate that. I will do whatever I can to try to make you happy, which will make me happy. Whether that means responding to every comment, I will do that the best I can. I will try to do whatever I can. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to say that I'm trying to do what I can to make you happy, which will make me happy. Then everybody wins. And isn't that the point behind all this? You want to get entertained. I want to entertain you. So let's do it. It's just that simple. So anyways, big roundabout sort of thing. Getting back to the original, yes, Goatfather, subscriber count means a lot to me. And anybody that says different is lying. So until next time, everybody, ride safe, ride fun, and have fun out there. Darth Ram.